yarn that's produced um, with animal diet. <laughs> I'm so bad at ex explaining this. And I'm so bad at turning pages. Um, yeah, I'm sure this is really exciting video content. Hi and welcome to the very first Wooly Goodies video. My name is Garmin from New Leam Designs and I've decided to make a separate video for all of the wooly things I have um, assembled <laughs> in the last two weeks because it is a lot. I've seen some other podcasters do separate videos for all of their yarn piggery and wool gluttony. Um, so I thought it would be a good idea to do the same uh, because otherwise the podcast episode will be super long and I know some people are just not very interested in, you know, others' materialism. Yeah, I'm a material girl. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, yeah, but let's get right to it. So um, um, me and my family, we celebrate, we do celebrate Christmas, uh, but we don't exchange gifts at Christmas. Um, we do that at Santa Claus, uh, which is December 5th, and it's also my mom's birthday, so I think that's why we always kind of celebrate Santa Claus more than Christmas. Um, so this year, um, uh, well, actually, we've done this for the past several years we just buy gifts for everyone so there is my mom my dad my brother and my boyfriend and each of us buy some gifts for everyone and um yeah it's just super fun um uh we have this uh online google document that we share and we just put you know our wish lists in there all of us can go in and cross things off of everybody's wish list so each of us know what we're going to get but anyway it's still fun of course i asked for a lot of knitting and crochet related goodies and i made sure to do so uh, mostly via small shops and small businesses independent businesses um yeah just you know, I, I like shopping small and I appreciate it when others shop small. Um, yeah, it's just, yeah. <laughs> it just, it feels extra festive for me because I know that when I buy something or when someone buys something for me that uh, it's not a franchise gaining a little bit of profit but an actual person doing a happy dance in their room so yeah it's uh yeah it's just a better feeling okay so for things i got i'm just gonna go in random order um this has been on my wish list ever since i saw it come out and it hasn't been out for a long while actually it's the pom-pom um it's a pom-pom quarterly issue 27 which is winter 2018 and this has been edited by nora gone i think her name is pronounced so Nora Gone. I, I I used to say Goggin, but I don't. I, for some reason, I don't think it's pronounced that way. Um, and it is beautiful. It has designs by uh, Hohi Locatelli, um, Cerulea Rose, Caitlin Hunter, and many others. And it just looks so so pretty. Um, so let me show you some of my faves. Um, Oh, first of all, I love this print. Queen of Wands. And then a pair of knitting needles. And I have to say, I love, I just love the articles in Pom Pom Quarterly and the illustrations. Um, it's just, it's so much more than just a uh, yarn pattern bookazine. I love this one. Beautiful um, burgundy cardigan with cables and is it a seed stitch maybe 
elongated seed stitch or broken seed stitch. Anyway, it's so, so beautiful. And let's see if I can find, oh, I love this as well. I just love um, baggy and oversized clothing and it's always good when paired with flowery dresses. Um, and this one, I, I think this one is so cute. So this one is by Caitlin Hunter. It's called Willow Wood and it has really big sleeves. Let me see if I can find a schematic for that one. It's it's pretty extreme, uh, <laughs> so I'm not sure. <laughs> Trying to not show any of the patterns. So see, it's quite extreme, yeah. Um, and so I'm not sure if I will do that. Um, but I think it's really cute. I think it's really cute. Yeah. And there's a shawl I like too. Here it is. This one is called... <laughs> Sojourne? Probably something like that. Sojourne. And uh, it's by Zandy Peters. That's just gorgeous. Oh, and of course the cover star. Is it Nightingale? Yeah, it's Nightingale. And this is by Nora herself. Look at those cables. That is just amazing. That is amazing. Yeah. Ah, uh, it's just so pretty. And um, with Pom Pom, um, I have four issues of Pom Pom, I think. I've only ever made one thing out of Pom Pom uh, magazine, but uh, you know what it is. They're just so pretty to have. I just want to have a magazine and then, you know, the patterns are always there if I want to knit them. Oh, and they're so pretty. Or I might, you know, use a cable because there are so many cables in here. Uh, so I might use uh, a cable uh, in a different pattern. So yeah. And the articles, as I said, and illustrations are always nice. So pom-pom, always a good idea. Next up is very basic, but I got myself some soak. And I um, I actually use eucalyptus all the time uh, in the lavender uh, scent. But uh, I've heard so many good things about soak that I wanted to try them. And oh, I forgot. So sorry, <laughs> for the pom-pom, I got this one from Ja Wol Rotterdam, or my mom got me this one from Ja Wol Rotterdam, which is, which is an amazing yarn store, and the owner, Saskia, hi Saskia, is so great, she has so much knitting experience, and yeah, she's the best. So if you are ever near Rotterdam, or I even drive two and a half hours just to go to Yawol, please go there. She has amazing stuff. Yeah, very high quality products. Um, and this one um, is from uh, Stephen and Penelope, which is another yarn store in Amsterdam, and I like to shop from them because, you know, they have really great customer service, uh, even in the weekends. I was amazed. I mean, um, when I when I purchased something else from them a while back, I um, I wasn't sure if my payment had gone through or whatever, something like that. And I messaged them, not even on their email address, but on Instagram. And then they replied, and it's just their customer service is amazing. And I was super excited to try it. Soak. This way, this way, I don't know, I'm seeing it mirrored. Um, and uh, this is the Celebration scent. It, it's very, very sweet and flowery. And um, yeah, can't wait to use it. Another goodie I got, I have already been using it for a few days, is my wrist ruler, which is a leather bracelet with 
um, well, it's basically a ruler, a leather ruler, ruler. <laughs> um, yeah, so it goes up until um, 38 centimeters. Well, mine does. Um, there are probably other sizes as well. This is the small and the medium brown color. And it also has inches, so it goes up to 15 inches, I think. Yeah. And it's uh, the first time it was pretty difficult to put on because uh, the um, kind of the keyhole here um, uh, was still very stiff. But uh, so for the very first time, I had uh, someone else help me put it on. But uh, now I can just do it myself. So, yeah, I'm really, really happy with this one. I already used it a couple of times, and it just looks nice as a bracelet as well. I don't wear any, um, I don't wear a watch um, for reasons that don't concern you. Uh, but, yeah, I do like wearing a bracelet, so, yeah, it's nice. And, uh... Um, my dad got, got me this from Wolzo Ehrlich, um, which is a Dutch yarn store. I'm not sure if they have a brick and mortar store, but they are a online store in any case. So Wolzo Ehrlich, which means, uh, wool, wool, uh, so honest, but it's kind of like derived from a saying in Dutch. So it's, it's. It's a wordplay joke. But also, I like have a lot of honest products, and um, they're very concerned with animal welfare and um, uh, doing local things. And um, yeah, I'm very bad at, at explaining this, but they're an amazing web shop. Uh, so my dad got me this. So it's the wrist ruler from I Love Handles, and they are available. Um, via a lot of retailers yeah so if you like them go and have a look online and yeah I was completely spoiled this Santa class and um, I got a Chaogu interchangeable sock set which is amazing it's the uh, twist mini red lace or mini twist red lace i'm not sure in which order um and comes in this really cute pouch and it has five sizes uh um 1.5 millimeter 1.75 millimeter 2 millimeter 2.25 and two and a half millimeter which is us triple zero until us 1.5 and um Look at these. Uh, I know they come in two different lengths. I think this might be the longer length. I hadn't really thought about that, so I didn't specify it on my wish list. I think I would even prefer shorter needles, but I'm not sure if this is the bigger set, so. <laughs> yeah, but just, you know, make sure you look at the um, needle length when you are purchasing the these. Uh, there is a needle gauge inside as well, uh, even for bigger sizes than included in this uh, needle set, so that's really helpful. And here are the cables. And, okay, so I first heard of Chaogu needles on the Pin Feathers and Pearls podcast uh, by Candice, and she talked about the Chaogu needles and their... Uh, cables and she said oh the cables are out of this world and so I got myself uh, sock needles from Chaogu but I got the regular ones uh, the ones with um, with the metal inside I'm just gonna uh, yeah so here they are the regular ones and I thought that she had one of these uh, and th these cables are amazing there are they are the best I've ever used so far um, doesn't kink ever and yeah 
just amazing. But um, seeing these now, I think she might have been talking about these instead because these cables are <laughs> they are amazing. Um, they are so that was holding two together. They are amazing. I mean, look at these. Super, super flexible, very thin, and uh, they have a different locking system. So uh, I haven't tried to use them yet uh, because um, I don't want to switch needles in the middle of a um, sock project. So I'm going to wait until I cast on new socks uh, to use these. Uh, but I can't wait because I think these will be amazing and oh, I'm already so excited about my next pair of socks. I'm not even sure which yarn I'm going to use, but oh, it's amazing. So, yeah. There are three cables in here uh, of 35 centimeters, 14 inches. 55 centimeters, which is 22 inches, and uh, 75 centimeters, which is 30 inches. Oh, and it says here it's for the 5 inch tip set. Um, so these might be 5 inches. <gasps> I can measure them now. Okay. <laughs> um, okay, so let me see if it's 5 inches. Yep, it's five inches, which is 10 centimeters, 12, 12, 12 and a half. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I can't remember off the top of my head what the other uh, needle length was. There might have been, well, I think this is the longer set. So yeah, do... Um, Make sure you get the right one for you. And then there's also a little box in here, which says Chao Gu for every project, every time. And the uh, cable tighteners are in here. And what I found really, really handy is, and really cute, this little heart, it says Chao Gu on there as well. And it is kind of this anti-slip um you know what you also have well uh at home we used to have a big square of this fabric to open jars um and bottles and stuff but this so so you can use the can you see this there's a t-pin in here as a as a cable tightener and you can use this to hold the other end while you uh, twist the cable on. And then, so I haven't really looked into this further. There are cable stoppers in here, of course, which are these blocks, which again, is really handy because the ones from KnitPro I have right now is this round uh, circle. And of course you can't really, um, yeah. It's, I mean, it's easier with this kind of block to really tighten it. So that's um, really good. And then I think these might be stitch markers. These pink round things. <laughs> Struggling to get them out. Um, that's a pin. Yeah. Does it say something? No, it's just marbled plastic. So I think these are needle uh, stitch markers, which is really handy. I don't have a lot of closed ones and they're really cute because they're pink. Yes, this is really cute. Yeah, I can't wait to cast on my um, a new pair of socks because I think this set will be the best. Okay, this is one that I bought myself um, when I was in Maastricht earlier this week, which is a Dutch city. Um, it's a stamp of a sock. 
I mean, seriously, who would not buy this? It's oh, so cute. Uh, I haven't opened it properly. Yeah. Okay, there's still a sticker on here, but doesn't matter. So. So cute. And I think I will use this for my new bullet journal, which is another thing that I got for myself. <laughs> yeah. So I got a bullet journal uh, from Moleskine or Moleskine. There's an extra E, so it could be Moleskine. Um, yeah, so I bought this stamp and I have this sheet of stick on letters. Um, yeah, and I bought some pens. <laughs> yeah, I've gone full out. See, I have a rainbow pen collection now yeah so I'm really excited to use this um, when I started I will be recording another video on another short one short one uh, I'm saying that like this video is a short one which I know is not uh, is not true um, yeah but I will record a little vlog on my bullet journal Yay! my first bullet, bullet journal and possibly on some other journals that I have because if I just have one page it's gonna be a really boring vlog yeah so I bought the stamp yay and <laughs> okay so oh I got another present from my parents which is not really craft, well, it's craft related, but it's not uh, knitting or crochet related. So a good friend of mine, Kate Rowland, uh, is an amazing illustrator. Uh, I met her a couple of years ago at the Molly Makes Awards, the Handmade Awards. Uh, it was the very, very first edition and um, I can't remember which category she was in, but um, she was making these wooden brooches she still is and she had these amazing twin peaks themed brooches which are great i love twin peaks so i got one um so we traded i had these crochet birds at the time and we traded uh one bird for a brooch and i had this twin peaks brooch of a cup of coffee and it said damn fine coffee <laughs> like uh agent cooper always says and um we kind of kept in touch and she um, lived in Japan for the past year and she's done a lot of illustrations um, about Japan and her life there and it was so so great to see because um, I have been for um, I've been in Japan for two weeks once on a holiday and just a lot of the things she drew I could relate to and it, it was just very Kind of nostalgic but you know it wasn't from that long ago anyway she uh, illustrated this awesome wall calendar and i uh, just love it i mean ramen is life and these dolls i don't know the story about them but they are so cute um yeah so it's a wall calendar for 2019 and i'm so bad at turning pages so, um, there is a cute illustration for each month, and I'm <laughs> so bad at turning pages. Um, yeah, I'm sure this is really exciting video content. Yeah, it's gorgeous. It's amazing. And Kate also has um, like a little magazine that she uh, drew. Look at these! I mean, I, I had these chocolates, the Meiji chocolates. Oh, and, and look at this guy. 
it's a kind of crocodile with a watermelon on top. Oh my god. It's all so pretty and I just, you know, I love um, how she paints and I love the subject as well. And Shiva's! Hi! Yeah. Oh, it's just so, so pretty and again, I love shopping small so I made my parents get me one of those. Yay! Okay, and then so I bought a lot of gifts for myself as well because the gifts you get yourself are the best. <laughs> and um, we went to the Bayekov, which is a big, uh, how do you say this, department store in the Netherlands, and we went to the one in Eindhoven. <laughs> Look at this! It's a lamp wall hanging and um it's it's kind of made like it's a rug it feels like a rug but it's not it's a wall hanging and it's so cute and these floppy ears um so this is from doing goods uh a note from treasure hunters and it has a pouch on the back so you know you could put something secret in there and then Put it on the wall, like spare keys. Put it on your wall. Uh, yeah, but it, I think it's so cute, and it will fit. It totally fits in my craft room. So I had to get this. It was only twelve euro, so I had to get that. It's probably kind of mass produced, but I haven't really done any research on that. But for only 12 euro, I mean, okay, and then my biggest gift to myself was a kit that is a collaboration between uh, Sandra from Craftfulness, who is a Dutch indie dyer, and Bed of Roses, uh, who I believe lives in Norway, and I'm, I don't know her name, sorry, I just know that she is Bed of Roses on Instagram, and she makes gorgeous bags. Look at this. Of course, you know, flowers are my thing. So I had to have this one. And the back is kind of velvety. It's really nice. You see the sheen. And it has some progress keepers here. There is um, a pine cone, an arrow, and a little um, squirrel and the zipper pull and inside is very plain um doesn't have any pouches in here but um i think that's you know more a thing for tiny bags because if you put a pouch in here and then the bag is kind of floppy and it doubles over so uh, with bigger bags i don't really have the need for those tiny side pockets. So I think this is fine. It's it's going to be a, a sweater project bag. Here's her tag. Bed of roses. And so it was a collaboration. So it came with gorgeous skeins from Sandra. And these are called bed of flowers, very appropriate. And I believe they were dyed up especially for this bag um, to, to match. Look at these, they are so pretty. And so uh, I love mauve um, and I love that it has some other shades in here as well. So in this one, you can really see uh, the brown hues, which I, I just love. It makes the pink so much more grown up. Um, and I don't have a problem with pink being girly and childish. I love that. But I also love the kind of more sophisticated, classy, grown up pink. And that's totally what this is. 
um, there is some plum in there as well um, some blue speckles which you can uh, see better on this skein so look at those blues and um, there is some light grayish purple as well and some white so I think this will be amazing for a sweater and this is her luxury base which is um, uh, 80% superwash merino, 10% cashmere, and 10% nylon. So these could be used for socks as well, but I'm not going to put cashmere on my feet. Uh, <laughs> yeah, these are going to be part of a sweater project, and I am planning um, a multicolor sweater. And it's either going to be the Enchanted Mesa sweater, which I've been in love with ever since I saw Caitlyn uh, Wool Jewel, um, her version. It was this Enchanted Mesa dress. It was amazing. It was also kind of this mauve-ish, uh, brownish, taupe-ish <laughs> color. Yeah, Caitlyn's Enchanted Mesa dress was amazing. So ever since, you know, I don't think I'm gonna make a dress, but a sweater is very feasible and I want to use different shades of pink. Uh, so I'm either going to knit one of those or the Spectre sweater that just came out by Hohi Locatelli. It's amazing. I love it. Uh, it's kind of like the So Faded, but without the um, uh, garter detail, it's all um, stockinette. And there is this kind of I don't know if it's twisted rib or slipped stitches, but they are uh, vertical lines and there is a beautiful stitch pattern around uh, the bust area, which is amazing. And it's uh, kind of like a diamond, oh, diamond shapes here as well. Um, yeah, I forget. I'll show you my sweater, uh, my sweater in a bit. So the Spectre sweater, you have to check it out. Amazing. And with Hohe's patterns, you know, you know they're going to be good. So these might go into a sweater like that. And that's not all. I also got some other yarn from Sandra. Uh, let me show you her logo up close, actually. I think it's so cute. Um, so it's this meditating woman, and she has a yarn ball on her head, and and then she has a yarn tail in her finger like in her hand like this and Sandra is doing an amazing job um, so she has employed some um, well not children how do you call them teens younger people <laughs> uh, yeah like teens or young adults let's go with young adults um, uh, who are Mm, in one way or another unable to get a regular job um, and you know maybe they're kind of troubled or something like that I, I can't explain it that well so please go check out her YouTube channel which is craftfulness um, and Sandra employs these young adults um, and you know gives them routine and you know gives them this job she teaches them to dye yarn um so she really kind of contributes to her um local community um which i think is really great and it warms my heart to support a business like that so not only did i get these beautiful skeins but i also um got these two and uh, I'm planning a design with these but I'm not gonna tell you anything about it because um, when um, I tend to kind of chicken away when I've put the idea out there and like the pressure is is bigger if if I already tell uh, people about it so I'm just gonna keep it a secret for now but I'm gonna show you the yarn because it is amazing so um, she dyed these up especially for me uh, after I um, 
explained my uh, design idea. Um, and this one is called I Smell Snow 2.0 because uh, she adapted it a little bit for what I had in mind. Um, so the original I Smell Snow has more blue spots, I think, and less red, I think. Yeah, but any, it's, it's uh, gorgeous either way. Um, yeah, so it's a speckly white. And this one is called Winter Night. And it was a one of a kind, so I'm not sure if it will be available um, um, as a regular one. Um, and it's amazing. So these are both on her spoil base, which is 80% superwash merino and 20% nylon. And this one, see, it's not all black. It's uh, it's very dark gray and also some lighter gray areas. And then there is some blue as well. Um, and some red, if I recall. But the lighting is not very good right now. It's, I mean, it's 4 p.m. and I think the sun is setting. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I can't find the red spots, but... Yeah, beautiful. So, not gonna tell you what I'm going to be knitting, but yeah, just wanted to show you this beautiful yarn. Um, yeah, I think that was it. Yeah, that were those were all of my wooly goodies, and uh, I hope you liked this vlog, and I. I hope you don't think too badly of me for forgetting all of these goodies. Um, yeah, I'm a very spoiled girl. Um, yeah, but I do like to support other businesses and I might not urgently need their products, but just supporting others is just, it warms my heart. Oh, right, and the sweater. So. This is not uh, from a small business, but it's Pusheen! Pusheen! <laughs> it's a Pusheen uh, Christmas sweater and it says... Meowy Christmas! Isn't that amazing? Meowy Christmas! Yeah, love this sweater. Um, I got it at this Dutch we website, it's called large.nl and they have a lot of uh, fan-based products, uh, a lot of Harry Potter products and um, Marvel, uh, a lot of Funko Pops, so yeah. Uh, and I saw this and I love it, uh, I love it. I've been wearing it almost every day this week, yeah. <laughs> It's just super comfy and super fun. And a Christmas sweater doesn't get that much wear through the year, so why not wear it a lot in December, right? Okay, that is all for me in this Wooly Goodies video. I'm not sure if I will be making any more soon because I bought a lot. Um, yeah, but I think whenever I have a big amount of goodies that I will do a separate vlog like this. Let me know if you like it. Um, let me know where you are shopping small this season and let me know what is on your wish list and I'll see you all next time. And a huge thank you to all of my patrons for supporting this YouTube channel. And if you want to support my YouTube channel, please go check out my Patreon page, which is patreon.com slash newleafdesigns. All right, I'll see y'all next time. Bye-bye.